human nature to expect the worst, but I want them to develop the mindset how to hope for the best and then work towards it. How do you get clean margins? Because I know that's something they talk about, having clean margins. Yep, that's a great question. Cancer is a word that strikes fear in many people. And then once you're fearful, it's hard to make good decisions, which is what you need to survive a cancer diagnosis. So how do you develop a therapeutic alliance? This is a process where it requires mutual respect, but also a way to approach problems where you use as many resources as you can. So the virtual visits are an opportunity to create therapeutic alliances in ways we never could a few years ago. Dr. Hannah and I both share the vision that Cleveland Clinic is a powerful academic center, but we need to make access possible. And the virtual visits was a way to do it. Doretha's role, she's clever, efficient secretary, but she has this way of connecting with families to make sure they get the information. And then she also does the background work to make sure they have the software that's HIPAA compliant to do the virtual visit. Instead of just doing clerical tasks, she is saving lives. Well, I'm so glad that we're all different because we bring different skill sets to the table, whether it's uh, pharmacy knowledge from the pharmacist, troubleshooting either doses or uh, how to control side effects. The social worker it might be as simple as parking or as complicated as losing a job uh, while you're getting therapy. What I love about being in a teaching hospital is you can help young doctors develop better attitudes for life. And I like to teach, if you can play, you're okay. So whether it's playing basketball, soccer, swimming, cross country, kayaking, making the most of the opportunities that are available to you, then you have less fatigue, you feel better, and you develop new skill sets that you never thought you were capable of doing. And mastery of such things helps you overcome even more obstacles. I've moved chemotherapy all sorts of different ways, for vacations, for sports, for girls and boys who play various games and teams. So you can't move the team schedule, but I can move the chemo schedule. All of us uh, physicians have to use EPIC as a documentation tool. I love getting photographs from families and patients, doing things that bring joy to their life. I'll put things in my note, calendars, scans, but the picture really sets the tone for another doctor or nurse who will look at it and say, oh, wow, they're really an really amazing person in ways I never thought. What I usually do to finish strong is I pretend I'm the family. What kind of information would I need? We've had a good conversation, but often you need something in writing or to look at to know what's next. This can be as simple as the summary, which is edited during the visit, emailing them that, or as complicated as a summary, making a calendar of proposed chemotherapy, I think it's wonderful when I can see patients, families, and their caregivers take time to smell the roses, doing things you enjoy, walking, playing in the park, as well as to enjoy a sunset or a sunrise, the things we all take for granted that are life's precious moments. <laughs>